Okay. All the links people will go to, right? Um, if you take a person's recommendation on a lens, and then they show you some images, and you're like, wow, that looks awesome. And you go by the lens, and you go, shit, you know? I'm really good at photography. This subject is well lit and everything, and these images don't look anything like the images that person showed me. <clears throat> Anybody and everybody has the right to do whatever the hell they want with it. It's like, you know, you can't tell someone what the hell to do with uh, their music. We know that like a lot of hardcore musicians, like they don't sound like that in reality. They're lip syncing. Okay, you know, they've... They're using a digital manipulation on uh, their voice, and then they'll overlay multiple tracks of them singing on top of themselves. We kind of know that, right? We, we enjoy the music. It's about the music, right? Just stop lying about these damn lenses, okay? Nobody cares what you do in your computer. Make the images look however the hell you want. And also, if it's a paying client, you give them whatever the hell they want, you know? Nobody pays you to take pictures of their hotel to post, you know... Take realistic pictures. Nobody has ever said this shit, okay? This is an important point. When it comes to hotels or uh, real estate or someone's face, it's like, you know, make my wife look really realistic when you take a picture of it. It's like, oh, you want the hair that's coming out of that wart on her nose? To... Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I want to see her. Like she... People don't want that in photography. They don't want reality. They want you to fucking lie to them. Photography is about lying. Lying! It's the same thing with these Hollywood stars. You know, they look so nice. And, you know, you ever seen that stuff like Hollywood stars without their makeup when they're getting groceries? And you go, ha! Ha! They're so ugly! It's like, damn! That's what that girl looks like without makeup. Woof! Woof! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I ragged endlessly on the Nikkor 105mm f1.4. Total crap lens. Sucks. It blows. At f1.4, the images look fake. They look like cardboard cutouts pasted onto a, a an already printed out background. It, the images look that bad. Now, if you're really good in Photoshop and Lightroom, you can make them look pretty good. So someone's like, I love this lens. And there's this neat website. That's right, girlfriend. Uh called Image Forensics, and you can upload it, take a look at the metadata. There's places you can look at other metadata, but this gives you the real lowdown. And so I saw some lovely images, you know, skilled photographer, skilled photographer, okay? Not about the photographer. So like, I love this lens. It's like, well, here's the Image Forensics. I want to, because the first thing when I saw those images at F1.4, I'm like, you know, those were lovely images, but that lens does not make those images. Here we have eight different history events. That image has been washed and bleached and, uh, you know, uh, suction. I mean, if this, land, if this image were a woman, uh, it would have had breast implants. It would have been like Joan Rivers, you know, like how much work she had. It's like, damn. Nip, tucked, stuffed, sucked. Fake, fake everything, right? Pla you know, plastic surgery gone haywire. That's what happened to this image, because as soon as I saw those beautiful images, and they were beautiful, and it's all about the image, because photography is about lying. It is. Photography is about lying. If anybody tells you otherwise, they're assholes. Technical photography is not about lying. It's true reproduction. That's technical photography. That's something different, okay? Just stop lying. You know, you say, you, I love the lens. Look, here's the images for my lens, and they'll say that. They say that crazy crap, and it's a lie. It's like these are the images from my lens, you know. No, they're not. Damn it! I went from the lens to the card. I went from the card to the computer, and then you went, you know, all which is fine. If they want to say something like, "Here are the here are some images I took using," they should use these words: "using the f the 105 millimeter f1.4 Nikkor," after I. Heavily, heavily process them. They can just say heavily process. One heavily is good enough. Hey, however, I think heavily, heavily. He when you got eight different events where this thing has been nipped, tucked, sucked, and uh, rolled, you know, like a team of plastic surgeons have gone to town on this image in uh, Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud version 5, 2015. Creative Cloud again, Creative Cloud again, converted, save, converted, save, boom, boom. That is not the image. 
That is what you did meow, on the computer, right? Okay. Not not there, not the computer, no, no, not, not, the, not the lens, not the camera. Meow, okay? This is a meow, it's a camera and a lens, right? And an SD card. And this is meow. That is not what your lens did. Just be truthful about it for God's sake. If you just want to say, these are my images, and I used, which would be truthful, I used this lens to make those images. Yeah, but that was only one aspect. You didn't like take the SD card and pop it in the computer, then hit upload. That's not what happened. It went straight into Creative Cloud, and it got processed and nipped and tucked like Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. She had a lot of plastic surgery, okay? I think you know what I'm talking about. Like a Playboy model. Well, actually, a lot of those are natural, aren't they? Why would I know? <laughs> Just stop lying about it. You know? All you're doing, because I've had, and this is the truth, look at my eye, damn it. I've had people say, you know, I was looking for information to see if there's something wrong with my lens. This is one email exactly, by the way. I was looking for information about this lens because I thought my lens was defective. Because when I was taking images with this lens, they did not look like that. I rented the lens and I was very, it, the exact words of this person were, I was very disappointed with the output of this lens. And I said, yeah, I've made a lot of videos on that. That lens does not create the images that you have been seeing online. There's even a huge scandal, and I had a lot of people, I have like 500 witnesses as proof, where like a Nikon representative took the original images, because they look flat. I mean, they were professional uh, photographs. You know, they were well, very well executed. Um... But even the best race car driver, you know, can't win a contest in an old pickup truck. You got it? It's like hardcore professional race car driver. He's in a pickup truck. You know, he's the best driver in the world. Yeah, but he's driving a pickup truck. Okay? He swapped the images. He increased the saturation, increased the contrast. Not just a little bit, but by a lot. Everybody saw it. He replaced the images, and everybody complained. And then he put the, uh, put, then he just put both images up. There have been two different Nikon representatives use that lens that have heavily gone into photo. I mean, not just like a little bit of tweaking. I mean, a lot. There's no problem with that except for the fact that people see those images like, oh, my God, that's a beautiful lens. I'm going to buy that lens. Yeah. And then they get it and they go, damn, <laughs> this lens doesn't make images like that. It's like, that's my point. Those images were not made. Meow. Those images were made. Meow. Creative Cloud. Adobe! 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 You know, when you buy a Nikon lens, you know what the shit it doesn't say on the side of your Nikon lens? It doesn't say, powered by Adobe. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say, this lens renders flat. Some photoshopping is uh, highly recommended. You ever seen a lens that says that shit on the box? Uh, I haven't. Have you? No. 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 Do you feel what I'm saying? Because I've already had people complain. Not complain to me because I, I said the lens sucks. It does. You know? If you want to buy, you know, I recommend good lenses. Le le lenses that do the best straight out of camera. You know, that's not to say, I mean, I, I edit most of my pictures. That's not to say, you know, I'm against editing. I'm obviously not against editing. I'm just uh, against, uh, you know, lack of truth in advertising. Be truthful about it. <clears throat> if someone says, hey, is that really what your lens did? Or is that what you did in Photoshop? Because that's what needs to be asked more. When, you know, a new lens comes out, someone needs to say, hey, that's a new lens. Those are some of the first images from that lens. Did the lens do that? Is that straight out of camera? Is that Photoshop? And then people should truthfully answer. It's like, yeah, you know, I heavily edited this picture, so the lens doesn't really do that straight out of camera. That's some serious editing. I don't mean like a little bit of crop, a little bit of nip, a little bit of tuck. Not just a little bit, like a lot. Like, for these images to look good from this lens, you really, really got to spank them hard. <laughs> you buy whatever you want. Truth in advertising, all right? Man, as soon as I saw those images, I, the first thing that went through my mind is my brain shouted, that lens did not make those images. Absolutely impossible. <sighs> impossible. Whatever. People don't care, you know? It's like, well, you know, it's a good lens. I'm going to buy it. 
Uh, okay, just as long as you know is that what comes in that box is not what people are representing. Because that lens cannot do that. Only Adobe! Ha 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 ha! Adobe! 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 This lens produces crap images. Much heavy Photoshop editing is required. Yeah, that's not printed on your lens box. But it should be on some lenses. 